In the Gulf, the oyster beds opened early, so did scallop season, all in an effort to harvest the aquatic resources before the oil reaches the bays. Now, as Capitol correspondent Mike Vazalinda tells us, angry mullet fishermen say their needs are being ignored. A small group of panhandle mullet fishermen have been protesting the net ban since before it took effect in 1995. They argue the Constitution allows them a larger mesh size, if not a larger net, which they say will make it easier to catch more fish while trapping fewer small, non-game species. It rolls them up like crazy, catch a bumblebee. And the monofilament, which is one strand of stiff webbing, you could take a fish and shake him out like that. The fishermen have argued before the Fish and Wildlife Commission to no avail. Spokesman Lee Schlesinger says the FWC has absolutely no leeway. The fact is a larger mesh size net would be considered to be an entangling net. And that is not consistent with the net limitation amendment that was passed by voters in the mid-1990s. But fisherman Roy Hutton says that others facing losses from the oil have been given exceptions and that he should too. They've opened the oyster season earlier, you know, a, a month earlier. They opened the summer bars up because they're scared the oil is going to come in here. They opened up scallop season a week or two early, early you know, and we, we just want them to, to, you know, to give us a break. But for now, though, there will be no changes unless voters decide to change what they did by a 3-2 to two margin banning many nets in 1994. In Tallahassee, Mike Vassalinda, WPTV News Channel 5.